All right, let's fly JJRC H6C. This is another clone of Hubson X4. Um, it's actually a very well done clone. Uh, the quality of this quadcopter is uh, very nice. Um, compared to Hubson in terms of design, this one has its little fins. Um, personally, I'm not too fond of them, but uh, I don't mind them too much, so I don't really care to be frank. Um, this quadcopter does not have this um, crash prevention things here where it snaps out on Hobson so it's all full leg uh, it's got very nice lights um, you might be wondering why I have the cage on this quadcopter and the reason for that is that the flight controller on the squad is uh, configured to fly with this prop card without it when you fly or do flips um, it actually performs a little bit worse so it's got this uh, it's it's kind of it's kind of glitchy a little bit when you flip it kind of over flips a little bit flip with a prop guard flip without prop guard so with this prop guard it weighs 39 grams um, just for comparison my Hobson and the top selling that I have they weigh 36 grams so only three grams of difference with this cage and uh, besides that this quadcopter actually has a camera on it so it's like I think without that it would have been even lighter than uh, Hobson and um, top selling but really I don't think 3 grams makes that much of a difference this thing has um, the typical JJRC smooth leveling out the problem with that though on this quadcopter is that uh, that leveling is uh, cranked up or like all the way because it's very slow to level out it's very smooth and it's very nice to fly because of that but that's but also you have to be very careful when flying this you can't fly it as aggressively as a Hobson or a top selling or even it's uh, I would say little brother JJRC 1000A which all also has this leveling but it has it uh, less so it's it levels out more uh, slowly on this one um, so this has four rates I'd say the two are usable with rates 3 and 4 this quadcopter because of the slow leveling feels more sluggish um, other than that this, actually, this quadcopter is actually very very feature packed it has you can turn the lights on and off from the transmitter it has the camera on and off from the transmitter you can take a picture from the transmitter the only problem with the camera of this quadcopter is that it, it's angled downwards which, which means that when you fly up you're just filming ground you have to if you want to film what's in front of you you're gonna have to fly very very high which is more dangerous so that's that's uh, not good about the camera um, so it takes the uh, micro SD card on the side here so let me go for a flight and I'll tell you the rest during the flight okay so as I told you this has four rates on the rate 3 and 4 it feels kind of too sluggish but on the second rate it feels nice I'm in the second rate right now let me show you flips again flips are very tight with the prop gate with a prop guard on very good flips because of its uh, shape you might think this is a competitor to um, Hobson or uh, a top selling but it actually is not this is a competitor to uh, SEMA because like a SEMA this is a uh, an indoor quadcopter because it cannot fly win uh, fight wind at all it has problems in the wind so it's it should be flown indoors it's very good at hovering very 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 stable at hovering Let's do a flyaway. I'm gonna do a flyaway in the fourth rate. So you see, I have it in the fourth rate, but it couldn't fly up because uh, 
well actually I don't know why maybe because it's too heavy on the other hand though the difference between this and uh, Hobson is only three grams so it really should not make that much of a difference I think it's more of uh, the way this quadcopter is configured to fly it just feels heavy um, this transmitter its original transmitter that it comes with is uh, terrible the reception on it is so bad it's about like 40 45 meters and after that you start to get connection drops so I'm flying in the fourth rate right now and I'm already feeling that it's just I'm gonna like dig into ground any moment now because as I mentioned JJRC takes a while to uh, level out that's done to make it fly smoother on the other hand though it's if it's uh, if you're not careful it's gonna um, it's gonna dig into the ground it won't have time to level out so let me switch to rate 2 so this is rate 2 now yeah rate at rate 2 it's uh, much more flyable I think this quadcopter the best rate for this quad is uh, the second rate that's where it feels the best and the fastest that's its maximum speed so as I told you this quadcopter is a uh, feature packed like my version does not support um, headless mode or return home but a uh, revised version does Mine is the first version of H6C, so I didn't get um, the uh, return home or a headless mode. But to be frank, I don't care personally. I think both of those features are kind of gimmicks, to be frank. Like return home, when you have a GNSS, that's great, because it uses satellites. But the return home on this micro quads and mini quads is... Uh, is a gimmick and headless mode I don't know who uses headless mode I think it's pointless you want to learn how to fly learn orientation it's much more enjoyable to fly that way so this quadcopter feels heavy there you go, fell. It has the same size motors as uh, Hubson or um, Top Selling, but just feels so, so, so sluggish. Yeah, this quadcopter to me feels like um, it feels like uh, um, jack, of, jack of all trades, master of none. If you don't want a camera, I would definitely recommend. Um, JJRC 1000 over this or a Hobson or a top selling so this quadcopter is kind of sluggish um, so as I told you this is for more of an indoor quadcopter or a, maybe a small garden quadcopter where there is no wind and you don't really push it too hard um, compared to SEMA I don't know it's up to you I guess the choice um, but yeah, this is a competitor to SEMA. It's not a competitor to a uh, Hobson or a uh, Top Selling or even its uh, smaller brother JJRC 1000A. Um, thanks for watching and see you next time.